Hi guys, it is an unbelievably gorgeous day here in the end times in the paradise of West Bumblefuck, New Mexico, here on this gorgeous spring morning, Thursday, March 30th, 2017. So before I dive into my weekly dump the Trump the Hive roundup rant, I just want to share with you the quote of the day, which I found in a book that I've never read before. I'm embarrassed to admit, and this is Howard Zinn's A People's History of the United States, where, uh, where Howard gives an alternative history to what you may have learned here in the uh, in your public school history lessons. So uh, we're going to open this, the very first chapter, when he's talking about a little more honest appraisal of the, uh, the settlement of the Plymouth Plantation. Yes, and I, there's no year here. It would have been nice. You might have heard of this fellow, William Bradford, who I think the regular history books have some sort of some sort of history, uh, some sort of hero of history. But we're going to read directly from William Bradford writing in his History of the Plymouth Plantation, describes John Mason's raid on a Pequot Indian village. Take it away, William Bradford and give us an honest appraisal of what life was like in Plymouth. <clears throat> Quote, those, those Indians, those that escaped the fire were slain with the sword, some hewed to pieces, others run through with rapiers, which I think are bayonets, so they were quickly dispatched, and very few escaped. It was conceived they, meaning, meaning honky, it was conceived they thus destroyed about 400 at this time. It was a fearful sight to see them frying in the fire, and the streams of blood quenching the same. And horrible was the stink and stench thereof, but the victory, the victory of Honky, seemed a sweet sacrifice. And they gave the prayers thereof to God, who had wrought so wonderfully for them, meaning the Honkies thus to enclose their enemies in their hands and give them so speedy a victory over so proud and insulting of an enemy. There you go, those proud and insulting Indians. Anyway, that will be a uh, fitting quote of the day to kick off this beautiful day here in the end times in paradise. They got the little bluebird singing in the background. And coming up over the Gila Wilderness. That's the Gila Wilderness. I'm right down the street from uh, Guy McPherson's Mud Hut. But I'm going to come back at you with the comment of the day. And then we're going to get into our dump the hump, dump the trump the hive roundup rant for the week. What a gorgeous day on the planet. <laughs> 